All right. Shalom. We want to first start off giving our praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashum, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashum, Rekach Kodash. A double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. There's a couple of brothers from the GMS Houston camp. It's the brother Abadia. Yeah, all right. And we got a quick lesson we're going to go into dealing with a couple of scriptures where it talks about uh, concerning salvation and the innumerable uh, multitude that's going to be delivered here in these last days. Now, the so-called uh, wacky, well, so-called Christians, wacky, tacky Christians, you know, they'll uh, read a scripture like this. Especially, let's deal with like Vocab Malone. He'll say, uh, scriptures we're about to bring out is talking about uh, salvation to all peoples across all uh, nations and kindreds and people, peoples across the uh, the four corners of the earth. And we're going to go through the scriptures to show you the scriptures and then into the uh, to these words in these in these scriptures, a few words in the scriptures to show that it's not talking about this salvation is not talking about everybody. Like even uh, John three sixteen, you know, Christians that's they go to scriptures, scripture to say that salvation is for the entire earth, you know, and it, or all the peoples of the earth, and it's, it's not. Salvation is strictly for the nation of Israel. You know, so uh, we're going to get into it. Uh, you can start in, matter of fact, start in Revelation 5, 5 and 9. And then uh, we're going to get those words, those words in uh, that verse. This is uh, Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. And they saw the new song, saying, Thou art worthy to, th to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Uh, read it, read up. Matter of fact, read up. That's the ninth verse. Read verse. Uh, let me see. Start at verse seven. And this is referring to our Lord Yahweh Shai. I and mean, we're not gonna read the whole chapter for the sake of time. But yeah, this is referring to our Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly knows as Jesus. Okay, he was the worthy, the one worthy to open the book. And to give and loose the seven seals, which which that represents, uh, he was the one through his uh, blood. It tells us in this chapter through his uh, sacrifice that is what uh, opened up the, the understanding of the of the book. Okay, but you got it. I right. go ahead. Come um, Revelation chapter five and verse seven. Uh, it says, and he came and took the book out of the right hand. Of him that sat upon the throne. You know, this also shows that even though this is a parabolic talk, it's not literal like Yahweh Shai, you know, went to the spirit realm and then took the uh the Bible out of the right hand of the most high, Yahweh, okay, and then opened up the uh under understanding. Okay, this is just all uh metaphoric talk, right? And then what it shows is that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are two different, or the Most High Power, which his name is Yahweh, and his son, which his name is Yahweh Shai, are two different entities. Right. You know? Go ahead. It says, And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And he. Right, so this is all figurative talk. It's not, you know, our Heavenly Father Yahweh sitting on a great big throne somewhere out of deep out of space, you know, and then Yahweh, Yahweh Shai came and took the book out of his out of his hand. It's just simply uh figurative talk, you know. But you got it. Um, uh, verse eight, it says, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. Having every one of them harps and golden veils full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Uh -oh. Go ahead. It says, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain 
and has redeemed us by Yahweh, by thy blood out of every kindred. Right. So redeemed, uh, redeemed us. It's talking about uh, us as the Israelites. Okay. But if you have a Christian read this, a so-called Christian read this, they'll they'll say that oh he was he, he was he redeemed us. Meaning the believers, they'll say it'd be the believers from all over the uh, all over the earth. You know? And we're going to show through bringing out the definition of these words that that's not so. Uh, could you read that, read that verse, uh, verse again? Bible verse 9. Come. Revelation chapter 5 verse 9. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, meaning to open up the uh, the understanding to the to the scriptures through Yahweh Shai dying on the uh, dying on the cross, you know that opened up the understanding of this Bible. All right, you got it. Out. For thou was slain, and has redeemed us to Yahweh. Right now, if you go to real quick before you continue, if you go to Romans. Nine, I get it. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's all right. I'm thinking of the adoption, but yeah, he redeemed or bought us, redeeming to buy back. So we were bought with what the blood of uh Yahweh Shai. Okay, and how and how. And that only pertain to the Israelites, only the Israelites, not the other nations. That blood was shed only for the Israelites. So go ahead, Doc. Connie says, uh, For thou was slain and hath redeemed us to Yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred. And to, you got it, you got it. You can finish off the verse. Uh, out of every kindred and tongue, and people, and nation. So in other words, so you can understand, Yahweh Shai, reading this with no understanding, you may, you'll read this, and you'll think that, oh, well, his blood was shed for all kindreds, nations, and, and people, and, and tongues. But we're gonna go into like three of these words. Let's start off with the, uh, the first one, was it? Peoples, or okay. people, or kindreds. Okay, let's before we go to Kendrick, let's get nation and people. Let's get those two words in the blue letter. Alright. This is our people. Alright, this is for the word people. Strong's G twenty nine ninety two. Laas. Right, and that's in Revelation five and, and nine. And bring out the strong the strong what's the strong number on that? Uh G twenty nine ninety two. All right. You got it. Okay, uh it says a people, people group, tribe, nation, all those who were who are of the same stock and language. You see that? Uh what else does it say? Go to the uh Okay, that's in the thighs. Let's see. Right here. Go to the uh, online biblical usage. Bring that up. Right, online biblical usage. Uh a people, people, group, tribe, nation, all those who are of the same stock and language. Okay. What else does it say? Okay, well that that's good. It, you ain't got another definition, but yeah. So when you go into this is for the word, was it for the word nation? Uh, people. People. So when you go into the word people in Revelation five and nine, it's it's not talking about all the people of the earth. It's talking about one people, as we read, one nation of the same stock. Like you go into Numbers uh one and eighteen. And it says that the uh, the pedigree of the, uh, let's read that out real quick. Numbers 1 and 18. So I don't get it through, I don't 
you know, twist up the verse. You got it? Okay, okay. Go ahead, bring it up. This is Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after after their families. Right, or, or stock. If you, if you go into that word pedigree, you see stock, um, something to the effect of lineage, or going back to the same what? The same seed. All right? You got it. Was that it on that? Oh, yeah, just finish it up. Okay. I read it again. It says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Right. So we can go back to Revelation uh, 5 and 9, and we're going into the word uh, people. So that people is not talking about all people of the earth. It's talking about one pedigree or one uh, stock of people that come from the same uh, same lineage. All right? Let's read that part, of, that one uh, definition again, right there. Right here. All right, it says, all those who are of the same stock and language. Right. All those that are the same stock and language. All right. Now let's go to the word uh, nation or nations. All right. This is uh, the word nation. Strong's G, 1484, ethnos. Ethnos. And uh, that's what you're going to see a lot of the time when, in the New Testament. When you're reading about the uh, the Gentiles, okay, or the, maybe the, the strangers, the Gentiles, uh, the Greeks. So for Greeks, a lot of most of the time you're gonna see uh, Helen, okay, and I believe sometimes for Greek you'll even see Ethnos. Then other times you'll see uh, for like uh, Gentiles you'll see the word Ethnos. And I believe even for stranger, if I'm not mistaken, it can just can be checked. You'll see the word ethnos also. Okay. Now for the this is the same word. We're seeing the same Greek word here in Revelation 5 and 9 for the word nation. You see the word ethnos. I bring out the uh some of the definitions on that on that uh particular word. All right. They have in the outline of biblical usage, it says a company, troop, uh, it says a multitude of individuals of the same nature or a genius. You see that? Of the same nature or a genius, which is which goes genius goes back to seed, sperm. So these this is not talking about all nations of the of the uh, of the earth. It's talking about one. Uh, group that goes back to the same genus or gene or in other words seed alright now somebody can say well you don't know who those people is they could be talking about anybody well let's go to the word kindred so if we, we didn't solidify it in this verse that it's not talking about all people and nations of the, of the earth it's talking about one particular group that go back to the same stock, that go back to the same genus. Okay? Here you got it. Uh, whenever you get it. Strong's G, 5443. Foulet. Foulet. All right, from the word uh, Kendrick. Okay. It says a tribe uh, they have here in the New Testament. Not in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament. You got it, brother. Uh, it says, in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. See that? That's to the point. So now if you didn't get it, when you went to, we went to the word people and nation, now we're going to the 
to the word kindred. And it's now it's uh, uh, keying in on who this is talking about. It's talking about the one of the, it's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. So it's going to, the, the, the uh, blood that was uh, used to redeem, you know, sacrifice to redeem, which was Yahweh's blood to redeem us back to the Heavenly Father was for, uh, that redeemed people, peoples and nations and tongues. Matter of fact, let's bring the verse out again. Let me shut up and bring this verse out. This is uh, Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals that were. Who was singing the song? The, the 24 elders and the four uh, angels, right? We read in the previous verse. Go ahead, brother. Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us. So Yahweh was slain and had redeemed us. All right, go ahead. To the most high Yahweh, by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. See, and all, all those uh, the people, tongue, nation, and kindred all goes back to one group of people, which we keep, we, we uh, through bringing out those words, we find out that's talking about the, the 12 tribes of Israel. It's not talking about the whole world. All right? You got a precept? Oh, okay, yeah, you got it. I mean, you go into the history of the, in the scriptures, uh, what happened to the Israelites? The Israelites were scattered throughout the planet Earth, and that was one of the curses that was going to befall the Israelites for uh, breaking the laws of the Most High. Okay, and we'll get that. We'll get that. Well, we'll get a precept on that here in just a second. Let you bring out what you got. I think like two and five somewhere in there. Devout Jews out of every nation. Yeah, got it. Uh, this is Acts 2 and verse 5. All right, it says, And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. You see that? Showing that uh, Israelites were scattered, uh, were scattered, you know, throughout the land. It was it more that you wanted to bring bring up bring up? Well, that was the point. Yeah, and then, then you read on and go through the different lands that is referring to those particular uh, Jews, all right, that came to uh, keep the Pentecost, keep the Pentecost. You had some Christian with Pentecost that they couldn't tell you, but they were coming to Jerusalem from all these were Israelites that wasn't in Israel, that didn't live in Israel. That were coming to to Israel to Jerusalem to be exact to keep uh, the feast of weeks, uh, the feast of first fruit. Another uh, title for it in the New Testament is Pentecost. Okay, and uh, now let's get to uh, Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. No, no, we can do. Let's go to Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty four. Let's bring that up. Come, this is Deuteronomy twenty eight. 64 and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people scatter who the Israelites amongst all people go ahead from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone you see that so that's referring to the Israelites, the, the curse that will befall them for breaking the law. One of the curses that will befall them for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments will be scattered all over, the, all over the world. That's why when we're reading right here in Revelation 5 and 9, and we're about to get another verse, it talks about, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai's blood redeemed people from all, peoples from all over the uh, from all peoples, all nations, and all uh, kindred, 
is because we were scattered amongst our people, amongst our nation, amongst our kindred. But it's those uh, scattered still go back to the same, same lineage, same stock, same uh, genus. Okay. So let's get that in uh, Revelation 7 and 9. And we're probably going to wrap it up right here. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. Now, we all know prior to the ninth verse is going into how uh, the Most High said, you know, don't destroy, don't, don't destroy the earth until uh, the ultimately the elect is sealed in their foreheads with this with this word, you know, and then it talks about uh, twelve thousand out of each tribe being saved from the destruction, and then it says it was just us. Now we get to the ninth verse, it's talking about uh, another innumerable multitude, right, out of every nation, kindred, and tongue, and people that was also going to. Uh, be just delivered from that destruction, okay? And you like we're going saying this again. A so-called Christian would read this, and they would say, "Well, see, that salvation wasn't only for the twelve thousand out of the uh, each tribe of Israel, but it's also to the whole world, all people and tongues and nations." But we're gonna read. We're gonna go into these words, and we're going to it's the same exact words. Uh, the, these, the word nation, the word kindred, the word people goes back to the same uh, Greek words that we read in Revelation 5 and 9. Okay? And we'll go through this real, real quick. Now, we don't have to. You can look it up for yourself, but we're going to go through it anyway. Uh, on the blue letter, just bring out, start with the first word in that uh, ninth verse that we're looking for. I think it was nation of people. All right, the word nation. Strong's G, 1484, ethnos, ethnos. Out of uh, Revelation 7, 7 and 9. Go ahead. All right, it says, a, mul a multitude of individuals of the same nature are gen genius, genus, genus. You see that? Same word. We already brought it out. We just bring it out again it's just so nobody can jump up and say, well, that may be talking about something different over there. Well, it's the same thing. Okay? Both chapters and accounts is talking about salvation. And it's, it's referring to one people from the same genus, the same stock. Let's go to the next word. And that was for nations, right? A nation. They wouldn't, it's not an S on it, is it? It's a nation. Okay, so it got an S on it. You got it uh, whenever you get it. Uh, the next word is uh, Kendrick's. Strong's G, 5443. Foule. Foule. So check this out before you go into that. Now we are over in Revelation 5 and 9. It just says people, nation, tongue, and kindred. It doesn't have an S on the end over here in uh in Revelation 5 and 9. But when you go over to Revelation 7 and 9, it has a, a S on all of them, I believe. Kindreds, yeah. kindreds, nations, people. Uh I may just say people on it, or do I say people? Just people. Just people. But even with the S, it still goes back to uh the same Greek word, right. you know. Just want to make that point. You got it out. Um, for the word uh, uh, kindred. No, 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 let's say kindred for last. Let's go to uh, to people. All right, this is for the word people. Revelation 7 and 9. All right. Strong's G, 2992. Laos. Okay. It says a people, people group, 
tribe, nation, all those who are of the same stock and language. All those that are of the same stock and language. Okay? And you can't pull that shit talking about this. Well, we all go back to Adam because it tells us in the scripture that uh, that you know when they was building this is before the before the flood they was building the uh, building that tower right and uh, they all spoke one language but it says the Most High divided the languages so to so that they couldn't communicate to to keep continue to build right. Then you go go after the flood. After the flood, the Most High divided up the nations. Let's get uh, you can bring out your piece of it. It's okay. You can bring out what you got, but I got something too. So whenever you find what you got, we bring that out. And we gonna bring out uh, Deuteronomy thirty-two and uh, eight. All right, this is uh, the book of Sirach thirty-three and verse ten. It says, "And all men are from the ground." And Adam was created of earth. Uh, and that's what Adam means. Adam, uh, Adama, it means ground or earth. Go ahead. Uh, and it was actually another scripture okay. that specifically says that you know, we all come from Adam, uh, but the most I get only chose Israel, some of the wrong lines. I think it's in, uh, man, where is that at? It's, uh, Ezra's. Second six. Ezra's, uh, that's six. Uh, where is that at? should know that, I ain't. I got it right here. Okay. Come on. Second Ezra 6 and 54. All right, it says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, of him come we all. Right, so yeah, we all do go back to Adam. Okay, you got it, brother. Right. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. You know, so it's going into a sep you know, a separation of right. chosen seed. Right. Yeah, we all go back to Adam, but the most high separated the sons of Adam. Yeah. You know? Let's uh let it a bit more. Just a, just a little bit okay. more. Okay. It says, right, and the people also whom God has chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made us the world for our sakes. All right. Uh, it says, as for the other people. As for the other people. So, they, yeah, this, all these different people do go back to Adam, you know. But the Most High is only dealing with one particular group that goes back to a particular uh, lineage, okay, from uh, Adam, right? Go ahead, brother. Right, it says, as for the other people, which... Also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Right. So the point is, there is a division. The Most High divided up the sons of Adam. We're gonna read that even more, a uh, little bit more in detail. Deuteronomy thirty-two and eight. And you want to know what the, what the, we already proved it because when we went in, as far as the verses that we brought out, that's talking about that one group, it got, we, we keyed in on who it was talking to. It was one group of people then, and we're going to, we're going to go back and get it because we didn't bring our kindred yet in Revelation 7 and 9. Okay. We keyed in on who this one group of people was talking about. Now it didn't tell us it was talking about all those that go back to everybody because everybody goes back to Adam. That's not what it's talking about. Go ahead. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 32 and uh, verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. When he separated the sons of Adam. You see? And when he separated the sons of Adam, we're going back to 2nd Ezra 6 and 50, 54, he had a chosen people of, that, of, of the, uh, all of the sons of Adam. Okay? You got it, brother. 
he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. His chosen people. He gave his chosen people the best. In other words, he gave the Israelites the best portion of land on this planet Earth. On this planet Earth. Right? So, even though we all go back to Adam, there's a set, the Most High separated the, the sons of Adam into nations. Okay? Go back to, you can go back to, uh, we have to go back to Noah and his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, okay? And the Most High never dealt with all of those sons, those nations that came of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. He only dealt with one nation when that goes back to the nation of Israel, all right? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel. Now let's go back to Revelation uh, 7 and verse 9. Let's bring out the word uh, kindred. Same words, we just bring them out again. Strong's G, 5443. Fule. Fule. All right, it says in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. This is who is, that's that one stock, that one genus. So it ain't, we don't, we're not dealing with, you know, the concept of we all go back to Adam. You know, it's not talking about that stock going all the way back to Adam. It's talking about going back to the 12 tribe of Israel, one of the 12 tribes of, of Israel, you know, and that's that's uh, pretty much it. You know, we're going to uh, wrap it up unless you had some a point you want to make. We're going to wrap it up, you know, Lord willing, uh, edification went out. You know, and once again, we want to give our praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Shum, Yahweh Shai, by Shum Rukak Radash, on double honors, unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Until the next one, we say Shalom. Shalom.